Well, what we're doing, what we're doing today is uh, we're doing some uh, pond creation work in a place called Haven Wyke Woods, which is three miles down from our base at, uh, from Ravenscar. And uh, this, this woodland is a, a semi-natural ancient woodland uh, used in the Victorian uh, era as an ornamental garden. And uh, what we want to uncover is some of that ornamental uh, feature. Um, the, uh, the history of the place is uh, where the trains used to come up and the Victorians used to walk around this garden um, with the beautiful uh, plants. One of the reasons we, we actually are trying to do this, um, this is part of the Big Green Week, and we, uh, we need to uncover this pond. The ponds are very uh, scarce in here, so we decided to uh, not only uh, uncover the pond for educational purposes, but to uh, allow more water into the pond. Because there's plenty of wildlife here, a lot of inver invertebrates are trying to, trying to live. So if we give them uh, an extra bit of water in here um, and get some more plants in, in as well, we'll have a flourishing pond eventually, at the end of the, hopefully at the end of the year uh, and on into the future. Certainly with the climate change, the National Trust, had, um, one of our main uh, priorities, uh, by, by reaching 2030, we were hoping to have um, quite a lot of green corridors. Um, certainly the pond that we're doing behind us is a connectivity pond, which connects other ponds along, along uh, certainly the coastline here, um, which, is a, which will be another corridor. Yeah, so today we're removing rhododendron from this bit of woodland. It's an invasive non-native species which was brought over by the Victorians from America. And we're digging it out, we're digging it all out, so we're getting the roots up as well, which means it can't regrow. And we're doing this because, as an invasive plant, if we don't dig it out, it will just take over the entire woodland. And then, you know, nothing else that we see behind us will grow. Um, and that has, obviously, a negative effect on biodiversity and the wildlife that we might find in this woodland. So this is primarily deciduous woodland. Um, it'll be fantastic for birds. You'll get things like sparrowhawks, tawny owls in here, and then your smaller birds. And they all rely on sort of a good understory to provide, you know, caterpillars and other insects. And then that just sort of feeds up the entire food chain. We all know the big effect that climate change is having on the planet, and our wildlife in particular is suffering. And therefore it's vital that as the Trust we inspire more and more people to not only contribute through work like this, like voluntary work, but also we've got to inspire the next generation to make them aware of the issues that climate change causes and how it has a direct effect on them. And then by letting them know what the issues are, we can tell them how they can combat it, how they can do their bit, because that's all it is at the end of the day. If everyone does their bit, it obviously all adds up and it'll make a big positive difference. And the Trust is trying to inspire more people to do that, do that through public engagement activities. Um, just engaging with, you know, all the people that are walking past today. Um, you know, lots of people are very unaware of what the National Trust actually does. You know, so you might see a National Trust sign at a woodland, but not know what we do to make that woodland better. So we're here today at Haven Wyke, which is a beautiful spot on the Yorkshire coast. Um, it's really popular with visitors who pass through walking the Cleveland Way, but lots of people come down here onto the beach where there's a waterfall uh, that's really beautiful. It's a lovely picnic spot. But the, um, the access to the beach just behind me is, is not really in very good nick, hasn't been for a while. So we're, we're here today, we're completely replacing it, putting in brand new steps uh, with the help of our volunteers. The main reason we're doing it is to, so everyone can enjoy this, you know, fabulous place like Haven Wyke. But also, you know, the, the old steps were very steep, slippery, so it's, uh, it's much better from a health and safety point of view. But of course, when you've got horrible steps, people tend to start climbing around the edge and it spreads and people start tr uh, trampling the vegetation, uh, trampling some of the interesting species we have here. Haven Wyke's a triple SI, that's a site of special scientific interest and that's because of its, uh, its woodland flora, so we've got some really special plants here. So we don't really want people going off trampling, forming new roots. Uh, so yeah, if we, if we can provide some really good access to the beach, that's much better for us and much better for nature. So hopefully the work we're doing to, uh, today across the whole of Haven Wyke is, uh, is really gonna keep this place special 
for future generations. So I'd really encourage people to to bring your families down, come to the, come to the beach, enjoy the the waterfall, uh, and enjoy the fabulous nature we've got here. And then uh, uh, you know, hopefully the next generation will will love this place as much as we do.